What's up, Indianapolis? It is cold out there. So cold, in fact, that Indy.com decided to take next week off to hibernate. Now, what that means is that this week's stacked issue is going to be out on the streets next week as well. And Indy.com is going to be back leaner, meaner, and ready for fresh meat on January 8th. Now, there's a lot to get to this week, so let's kick it off with Jenny and Conrad talking about the auto show. So the Indianapolis Auto Show starts the day after Christmas and runs all the way through to New Year's Day. We're talking about like 400 or so different vehicles that are going to be there, all makes and models, but I think the highlight this year is that there are going to be a bunch of hybrid or alternative fuel vehicles. So I came along for the ride to check out with Conrad some of the cars that are going to be at the 2009 car show. So now, Conrad, you drove a Volkswagen Jetta? That's right, I drove the uh, the Jetta diesel. Okay. And it was a pretty sweet little car. It had so many added features that you just wouldn't expect from a model like, like that. Like what? Things like uh, windshield wipers that warm so the, the ice will melt in the morning when you're trying to get to work. Um, you drove the Escalade? I drove this huge hybrid Escalade, um, and I think it gets 2121. Um, 21 City, 21 Highway. The day that I test drove it, it was snowing. Um, so, it, and oddly, I felt really safe in it. Other than me needing a stepladder to get into it, I really had a good time driving this car. A hybrid Escalade makes about as much sense to me as an apprentice-style reality TV show starring 50 Cent. Here's Amy Barton to tell you more about that. For Faces this week, we talked to Dewan Watkins, who is a 23-year-old, born and raised in Gary, Indiana, now lives in Indianapolis, and was cast to be on 50 Cent's The Money and the Power. Dewan actually flew in from New York City to do the interview with me because, as he puts it, he wanted to know me from a can of paint. And that's kind of his whole shtick, is he, he likes to get to know people face to face, and that's actually how he got on the show, is he had a chance encounter with a couple of casting directors, they said he had what it took, and all of a sudden he's on a reality show with 50 Cent. One of the great things that happened in 2008, I believe, in Indianapolis were the back-to-back -back visits of Radiohead and Wilco in August. Uh, we can thank Lollapalooza and Routing coming out of that festival in Chicago that brought Radiohead to Verizon Wireless Music Center on one night and Wilco to the lawn at White River State Park the next. My favorite Central Indiana recording of 2008 would be Rope Chain by Grandpa Jukabox. Uh, Dave Adamson put together a real Irresistible document of folk music meets hip-hop in a package of sex, psychosis, and claustrophobia. It's kind of a highlight that Axl Rose finally did the deed. I don't think Chinese democracy is as great as a lot of the pro-Axl crowd might make you think, but I don't think it's as bad as the anti-Axl crowd would have you believe. Way to go, Axl. See if you can play your home state sometime. My pick for the worst concert experience in Indianapolis 2008, hands down, goes to R&B artist Keisha Cole, who was supposed to play the Indiana Convention Center as part of Summer Celebration. She was scheduled to go on stage at 9.45. She did play, didn't get on stage until after midnight, though. Just a disaster. Keisha, you're not Prince. I would have liked fewer artists to use the auto-tune treatment on their uh, songs in 2008. Everyone from Nickelback to a uh, new dance artist, Lady Gaga, uses this device to uh, bring an annoying element uh, to the song. Here's to some purity and authenticity in vocals in 2009. Now let's take a look at this week's Metro Mix calendar. What better way to depressurize from the hectic holidays than to go on a guided meditation retreat? That's what's on offer at the Dron Tompa Buddhist Center from Saturday through to New Year's Eve. The center's running four sessions daily, $5 a session, $20 for the full day. I will be a better person in 2009. I will be a better person in 2009. The Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band will swing by the Vogue on December 26th. Don't miss out on uh, the Rev's guitar playing. He's really come on as a guitar player from all that hard touring and uh, it's really a treat to see him play live. 
Indie.com and Radio Now have teamed up for the New Year's Eve Little Black Dress Parties. They'll be happening at two locations across the city on New Year's Eve night. The first one is up at Lulu's. Um, some of the DJs will be up there hanging out. Also, we'll be downtown here at 14 West. Party starts at 10 o'clock there. Tickets are on sale now and are $20. We also have the New Year's Eve Rock and Roll Ball uh, down at the Hyatt, as well as the Carlos Diaz Extravaganza down on the South Side. So lots of New Year's Eve events for you to choose from. Go to metromix.com and check out the New Year's Eve guide. It'll tell you all the events going on across the city. Arts, entertainment, lifestyle, and the people who make it happen. Free every Thursday in Indie.com the magazine and online 24-7 at Indie.com and Indie.metromix.com.